last night in an old hat store. <laughs> a committee of professional rivals, analysts, and wannabe gumshoes <laughs> fought and toiled and burned the midnight oil to deliver the best segment in all of sports. It's an honor and a privilege to again present Nick's tears. Thank you so much for the wonderful introduction as always, Kevin Wilds. And as mentioned at the top of the show, today's tears have a bit of a somber tone. Oh, yeah. Twofold. One is because, as you'll see from some of the tier names, the committee is not impressed with the quality of play and quality of teams overall in the right. NFL thus far That's this fair. year. But also, we had our first two eliminations uh -oh. of you know what? the year. I so let's go ahead this. and show <laughs> the two eliminated teams, the Ooh. Patriots and the Panthers. Last that week, stings. they were on the facing elimination line, and they both lost. Panthers got rolled by Caleb. The Patriots lost by a heel to the Miami Dolphins, and so they're eliminated. Wilds, don't <laughs> listen. I'm eight, not cut taking the cameras. Eight, 18 teams <laughs> will eventually be eliminated, and so we're going to have to eliminate some more. So this week, we have three Ooh. facing elimination on the tiers. Tennessee faces Indy. They have to win or they are eliminated. The Browns go to Philly. They have to win or they're eliminated. The Raiders, with Aiden O'Connell as their new starting quarterback, that'll fix things, Antonio. <laughs> they play the Pittsburgh Steelers or they are eliminated. Hot seat, Dennis Allen. Doug Peterson. Wow. Hot seat. Nick wow. Sirianni. Well, yeah. The, uh, in Woody, first place a little while. Well, Woody, yeah, Woody, Woody yeah, Johnson. A late. Woody Johnson <laughs> opened the floodgates. Oh. They, what? what okay. Listen, they had okay. two. They're two and three. Fire their coach. You don't think the Saints? They lose four straight games. Could fire their coach. You don't think that, that trip to London's been a death knell for folks? And Doug Peterson loses to Caleb. Lose your Patriots for sure. He ain't getting back on the flight. And Nick Sirianni, I know the the best thing that happened to the Eagles all year PR wise was they didn't play last week. So people were like, oh, maybe they're okay. Like, no, we saw your last football game. Next, QB quadrant. Like, so for the Dolphins, it really is when is Tua coming back? Because with that division where it is, they're fine, actually. Yeah. They're two and three and, you know, right there. For the Colts, they're in a weird spot because it's like, well, we definitely should play the physically, freakishly talented kid we have that we drive in the top five. But as far as winning football games in 2024, <laughs> the old man just slung for 300 again in Joe Flacco. And the Giants, Greg, I kind of get it because I watched that whole game this week. There we go. Like once every six weeks, you know Daniel I mean? Jones has a performance, and you're like, what? You drove me back in a little bit. It's like, why, why can't you just do this every week? And you're like, he's a big guy. He's fast, too. He's strong. Yeah, right? I, I get it. <laughs> eh, maybe. Denver's got a great defense. Kyler's fun. Harbaugh and Tomlin will do some cool things. Like yeah. maybe in, in a league where nobody's great, the, none of those four teams can be discounted. And they, again, the Chargers didn't play this past week. They got to get healthier. Great win by the Cardinals with Denver, three and two. D defense playing great. NFC playoff morass. All five teams are three and two. All five teams have a few things you really like. And a few things you're like, yeah, that's not going to work. But at least three of this line, maybe four, are making the playoffs. Yeah. And so yeah, I'm not going to go through them all one by one, but they're all kind of, despite this not being the standings, it's coincidental. They all have the same record and they're all in the same line. All right, this is for Kevin Wilds. The committee made me name this tier this. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, but they're combined four and 11. Doesn't yeah, matter. Break. The, the Niners' pedigree and number of Avengers and the fact that the Bengals and Rams in recent history with the same coaches and the same quarterbacks and the same wide receivers played in a Super Bowl means we are going to give those teams the benefit of the doubt. As long as Matt Stafford is there, as long as uh, Joe Burrow is there, as long as Nikki Bosa and Fred Warner and George Kittle and Trent Williams and <laughs> Kyle Shanahan and all those guys are there, we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Next, incredibly fun, not sustainable. So now, by not sustainable, the, these teams, either one of them could absolutely make the playoffs. But for the make the playoffs, yeah, they could make the playoffs. They're making they them make the oh, playoffs. Sorry, also, the um, <laughs> but are the Vikings going to be this both sides of the ball juggernaut? Of course not. Are is all year long? 
Is Washington going to be able to continue to be an offense-only team when the offense is led by a rookie 190-pound quarterback? Probably not. But they are incredibly fun right now, what Minnesota is doing defensively and what Justin Jefferson does and what Washington is doing week after week on offense. Not long-term sustainable, but fun. Uh, relying on reputation. Listen, all three of these teams were better last year. But because of, for the first two, their coach, because of the last one, their quarterback, because we have seen these teams win double-digit games consistently, Green Bay, not double digits last year, but win a playoff game. The Lions last year, you know, seemed to be on, on the ascent. Uh, you feel like they are more likely than not to get it right in kind of a topsy-turvy NFL. But thus far this year, not, none of these three teams have been wildly impressive on a week-to-week -week basis. The Bills obviously coming off two really, really tough losses. Uh, wow! Good teams! Finally! They're near the top of the tiers. We get to a couple good teams. It's nice to see. Uh, the Ravens, it, it really should be 4-1, and one, not because they were going to get a touchdown and a two-point conversion against the best defense in football in week one, but because they shouldn't have lost to the Raiders. Kind of lack of concentration killed them. And the Texans, C.J. Stroud this year has had a little... Mahomesian as even if I'm not having a great game, I'm going to have the I'm going to come through in the big spots. Now, Nico Collins to the IR is a temporarily devastating loss for them because yeah. you saw even in that game this past week, the moment he went out, their offense went away. And then, of course, undefeated and unbothered, almost unworthy talking about. They've won 11 consecutive games. It's the 12th straight year they've had at least one five-game winning streak. Mahomes, it's the third 10-plus winning streak of his career, and they have the best defense in football. That, Greg Jennings, is the committee's tears heading into week six. You got some in your hair? How many times are we going to do this? Thank you. Do what, Sam? Thank you, Greg. With the Vikings, man. I moved them up! Come on. How many times are we going to do this? Because oh, like, they this got Sala fired? This is How a, many times? All right, this is good. a 5-0 team. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. I didn't get it. This is a 5-0 team. That was nice. Who all they do is win. <laughs> if you look at the teams that they've played, they beat the 49ers. Yeah. Yep. They They're beat ahead the, of them. They beat the Packers, who, are not a, who they are not ahead of. They... They beat the Texans, who they are not ahead of. Correct. They have Detroit coming up at the bye. We'll see if you end up switching them they in, the and they are worthy enough. But how many times do I have to do this? Can we please put up the full screen? Here we go. Oh. Of their defense. Like, this is – they're for real. When you talk about they're fun but not sustainable, this is sustainable. No, the defense this is be. very much so sustainable. And then you talk about, like – quarterback play this is pumpkin watch this pumpkin watch that but their their <laughs> pumpkin watch guy is actually not turned into a pumpkin uh, but yours oh yours may be oh my on the most pumpkin watch that we've seen so of this Greg, career far. I'm just, far. I'm, 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 oh, before He's, before i can <laughs> i'm not saying that Patrick Mahomes isn't the greatest i'm not right, well, but no, i'm just you I'm said just that looking, two weeks ago which I'm is why you're on the board and you the said stats. Josh Allen's better than that. i'm just I looking at you might just get looking back at the numbers and i'm trying to figure out why Sam Darnold is getting all this hate from okay. you and his team can't even move up the tiers oh, they because, because of him. Okay. They're a 5-0 and team, and this is what they do. Offensively, they're, they're first oh, scoring yeah, 23 points. or more points. <laughs> <laughs> Defensively, they're first allowing 17 or fewer I'll points. I mean, what more can this team I do? So listen, like, what can they do? They have been excellent. But as, as the committee doesn't like to be like the facile power rankings where it's just if you take a snapshot of like, you know, you know I'll just say it, the herd hierarchy from week three, <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, my God, like what happened to those teams? Hey, look at USA Today week 15 of last year. It's mortifying for all involved. We like these to be able to have real staying power. That's first of all. Second of all, I don't know if we can put up the bur I'm sorry, the. Darnold Mahomes side by side again. But Greg, what you don't understand is this is the exact reason for the skepticism. Because you're right, Greg. These two teams do have the same record. And one is, despite their quarterback playing far and away the worst football of his career, and the other one is because, in part, of the quarterback playing far and away the best football of his so career. So penalize him. No, not penalize him. 
But try to be a little forward thinking. Say, do we think in four weeks, in five weeks, in six weeks, these things are going to look like that? Or do we think when one, when they flip a bit, one team's going to go even higher and one team's going to struggle a bit? That's all we already saw. It. It's not like Darnold's played great just, throughout. Just say we just saw thing. him in London. I'm going to say this last thing because I've been yeah. on your side with this whole Purdy thing. Yeah. We saw this all last year with Purdy. We saw it the year before with Purdy. It didn't matter what he did. Didn't matter how great he played, okay, he could never move round. all the way up. Just, the Niners moved up all the time. Do you have it? Do you have it? No, 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 no. Like he's moving it. He's moving them. Sam, guys. All right, my turn. No, I don't. I don't have the witty bar that Greg had, but still. And Nick, you said it. The 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 committee takes a long look, and I'm not saying they're world beaters. Okay. But can we give Philadelphia a little? More respect. Why? Well, because they beat the Green Bay Packers, who are on your third row. And I, I'm not saying they're better than Packers, because the Packers are going to they're Super Bowl. Off the, the Patriots are off the tiers. They beat the They Bengals. beat New exactly. Orleans a week New Orleans after stinks. the Saints. That stink, those, those stinky Saints hammered the Dallas Cowboys yeah. by 25 points yeah. in Jerry World. All right? And, and they they lost to Atlanta, which we think is a good team, by a point. Mm-hmm. And then Tampa Bay had its way with them. Yeah. yeah. They were missing their two oh Pro Bowl level Th- receivers, That's their best offensive linemen. Oh. All right. So th- I'm just, I, again, they should be up at least. Can I see the tears again? Yeah. They should be at least with the Cowboys and Bears and that, oh. all that. If not, Ahead of them, well, if not on that hey, next year, I'm telling. Hey, look, hey. Nick, they play Cleveland, yeah, and and the Giants next. Yeah. They could easily be four got and two, it. feeling good about themselves. Right the ship. They got Very one cool. of the best running backs in the league. We know that. Jalen Hurts needs to get it together. Yeah, the but they should be higher. Jalen Hurts needs to get it together. They, they're, Can they're, I ask you one quick question? Their their combined teams they've beaten five and five. The Cowboys, since you in love with Dallas. Mm-hmm. Their combined teams, they've beaten six and nine. Okay. I rest I, my case. Okay. Can I ask you a quick question, bro? If the Eagles lose as nine point favorites to the Browns, do you think it's on the board that Sirianni gets pitched? I'm just curious. I mean, if that when that if, if, if that, that happens, happens, we'll see. Okay, I'm not so into the hypothetical. What tier right? is he on? The hot they seat should tier. Be, well, Thank no, you, sir. The name you, is sir. fine. Hot seat the tier. name is fine. I'll give you that. You, you <laughs> saved the little face with the, the nice little name. Yeah. But they they should be higher as far as how They're good they're still in the supernatural funk, and you know it. Next. Know. Giants Bengals coming up. A team that is won twice as many games against a team that's won half as many games. I'm moving the Giants up and the Bengals down. Where do I want to move the Giants? Just up. And where do I want to move the Bengals? Down where the one and four teams belong. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Like, ah, what do the Giants do well? Well, they're pretty good at defense. And they're number one in sacks. I like that. I like getting to the quarterback. So maybe Joe Burrow isn't just going to light the world on fire. And I know the issue is... Danny dies, but it's a little alley-oop to Greg because we always talk about the Vikings. Take out the Minnesota game where Danny Dimes struggled, which everybody has struggled. Brock struggled. C.J. Yeah, Stroud yeah, struggled. Yeah. Jordan Love struggled for a half. Poor Aaron Rodgers struggled, got the coach fired. If everyone just took a breath and be like, you know what? Don't fire the coach. The Vikings are actually really good. Danny Dimes is out here. Finally, pressure Danny dies. Maybe that's the answer. No, turns out actually good this year under pressure. Well, well, luckily that won't that that won't be a problem because the Bengals don't pressure anybody. So that's that you don't have to worry about that piece of it. At Giants all. sneaky, sneaky good. Bengals okay. here's not what I, sne- here's sneaky what I, bad. Here's what I promise. <laughs> They're one and four. Wilds. Here's what I promise you. If the Giants beat the Bengals, yep. They're they're. On the same list in my brain as your Patriots. One, oh, ir- one ir- five. Should ir- be below my Patriots. Ir- be beat them at irrelevant the season over. Yeah, one and five. But when they win, I want you to remember all these things you just said about how the Giants and why they're sneaky good, because the Bengals will have at that point beaten them head to head and have the same record as them. That's is that fine. a deal? If you, yes, if that's that, a deal, that if they beat the Giants, we will talk about the Bengals and Giants in the same No, deal. no, no. That, they will have the same no, record, maybe a little not, bit better. Not I like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Since- Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.